So everyone, welcome to Vandana's art class. Today we are going to do a landscape painting, very simple one, simplest one. Because today is our first day of landscape, we will first draw the outline. Okay, so I'm using the blue color to show the mountains. You can draw with any other color. And here are the second range of mountains. After this, we are going to use green color to draw the greenery part. This is the greenery here, coming till here. Then little bit green patch is here. Now on the mountain, we are going to show a house. Just simple, very simple house. We'll show the house standing on the pillars, having a balcony and everything is settled on the pillars, like a mountain house. So now we are starting First, we are going to wet the portion above the mountains with clean water. Only the portion which is above the mountains. We want to show sky there. And to show sky, we will take little bit light blue very light blue this is the blue which we are going to use and this is the purple which we are going to use so first light blue you can use any brush any thick brush and give on the sky light blue color then use light purple color dilute it like i'm doing here we'll take light purple color and we will mix lots of water in it it has become very diluted and now we are using it here just to give the impression of sky So, our sky is getting ready. In between, we can give touch of blue color. Starting with mountains. I'm going to use this br thin brush. You can use any thin brush and use the darkest color. Use the darkest color in your palette, the darkest blue and give outline of the mountain. Now we'll take by scrubbing. Wet your paper. Thank you. 
only this much you wet your paper and here we will use different shades of blue first the darkest one what we have then little bit of light color this amalgamation of different colors and once again i will draw the outline now we will take more water and we'll spread this color here it will look very watery but it's okay we will just spread it and it may look white also so it's okay let it look white in between we can put some patches of blue but it will be more or less like white and now we are starting with other side these mountains can be snow capped mountain and we will take light blue color now we are going to make the green mountains to make green mountains first we are going to wet this portion this much is over and now i'm going to wet right hand side let's start with light green color so first color is this some patches here then some patches of other greater so these greens will mingle they will mix so i have lots of water on my paper i am spreading the color here it's all shades of greens once they will get dry then we will make the trees you can use colors of your choice it's not necessary to use same colors now i'm giving the touch of yellow and green here and blue is already there on the base so it will form a new shade which i think will look very nice more color on the top and less color down and it will look like as if the uh, these mountains have little bit green green so once again i am repeating what i have done because some of you have joined late we have drawn the mountains and we have drawn this house on the mountains first we wet the paper and we have given coat of this blue and this light purple which we diluted a lot that is how we made the sky 
then for mountains we have used this dark blue for outline and then we have filled light blue in the middle and we have used this technique in which we are bringing the color down little bit so that color is mixed so that is how we have made the top mountains and this side we have used first we have done the blue color and now we have used yellow and green color on this so that we get little bit green trees impression and here the color we will spread it so that a very neat line neat outline will come and we have to wait for this to get dry so now what we are going to do in the meantime we are going to paint our house to paint the house we are going to take red color and it's orange ish red color which i am using i'll show you this is the color which i am using to make the roof tiles so i will paint the tiles of the roof don't use too much water because if you will use too much water it will spread our blue sky is also wet and in between the mountains place is also wet now we are going to use the black color this is the black color and with black color we are going to make the balcony of the house pillars of the house go oh, see here so our house is almost ready now in the wall we are going to fill gray color we can change the colors whatever we like house is hidden behind the mountain it's not fully visible after making the house when this gray color will be dry then we may have to give a coating here and we will show a small window here now let's come to the trees on the mountain i am going to mix some black color in the green it is very dark color ready and like everybody has seen the trees on the mountain we are going to make those trees but we will check our paper is dry or not so i will show you one tree here because of use some green color and show some patches here and there and just leave it like that you can use another brush to spread this dark green color patch similarly we will show the these trees here we are going to make here a big tree
these kind of trees most of you must have seen on the mountains we are going to make a cluster of trees so we'll take we'll draw another line this is dark green mixed with black bring the line out from the center i'm sure those children who live near the uti they must have seen these trees and those children who are living in north india they must have also seen when they go to any hill station now take the yes, dark green color and show the patch here and leave this patch if there is too much water then wipe little water and again show the dark green color like this we have to show the trees on the this big mountain at least at three four places chinar trees chirke ped i'm sure all of you must have seen at least in your textbooks xylophoria which we call christmas tree commonly now we are going to show one or two trees more here and around the trees we we'll show some dark part to show the grass or some green pollen we are going to show some dark green patches here so i am using this dark green color make sure these patches don't have clear outline they are mixing with each other you can use other colors also of your choice they will also look nice i have finished till this part and now we have to extend we have to correct this part now we are going to do more work on this side so i am going to use dark blue color and i'm going to give blue lining and slowly this lining will become light because i'm adding water in it dark blue to show the boundary of mountain and then rest is all water and touch of green color to show some green patches here and there so it will appear as if we have a snow capped mountain very far and close to us we have light green grassland
so we have done this much and we cannot do more because it's very wet so i have to wait for this to get dry now we will wait for this one to get dry and then only we will come to know the actual picture here we have to show some railing type so i am showing a railing here rest of the work i can do only when this will get dry so friends i have made some new trees i have redone the mountains by using the water and diluting this blue color which was very thick earlier and slowly i am bringing the blue color down so that it's giving the shape of a mountain snow cap mountain which are very far and here i am just giving the shading with the water in the brush what paint is already there just smudging that paint into and here i have drawn another house i'm going to paint one tree here and one smaller one behind this so i think now our lower part of the painting is almost ready we are going to draw and paint one more tree here like this there may be a few more so i have taken white color in the palette and now i'm trying to improve the mountains so mountains are already blue here as we all can see so here i'm trying to lighten the color of mountains at some places so first thing i'm starting from here using white color it is mixing with blue color friends our painting is almost ready it's time to give border i am selecting red color to give border so i have red color in my palette here i am going to use mixture of these two colors for the border 
so I'm using the water and mixing these two colors and here we will give the border slowly we will move our hand in one direction